Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmer. This is video 20, and today we're finally talking about the Image tab. So to demonstrate this, let's click the Image tab, and let's first listen to a piece of audio. Feel it, feel it. Now let's drag this piece of audio into Harmer. Feel it. So that fast, Harmer is basically taking the information of this audio file, all the partials, all the harmonics, all the phase of those partials and harmonics, and converting them into data that Harmer can read and then can reconvert back to audio. So let's listen to that. Feel it, feel it. And again, the real audio. Feel it. So really, it's hard to tell the difference, but we do see up here that about 17K, that's where Harmer stops. But there's really not that much information to really change the sound. So a couple of controls to really start you, uh, or just to get you to start understanding this, is in this looping here, we have the loop, we have one shot, and then we also have ping pong. So let's take a listen to ping pong. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. So it just plays it forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards. Over here on this knob that says C, that's gonna be your core speed. So right now it's basically one to one. It's exactly the same speed as the audio was recorded. Feel it, but we can speed that up. We go really fast. It's kind of indistinguishable at that point. So if we all click and go back to uh, to regular, Feel it. we can also go backwards. And almost to a stopping point. It's still kind of going backwards, but very slowly. So that might be kind of cool to automate in a very rhythmic fashion. So keep in mind about this knob. And then below that, we have the F, which is basically speed as well, but a more fine-tuned control. And then also next to the speed here, we have the time. So right now it starts at the very beginning. But let's say this little piece here, you want to start it there. So we'll grab our time knob and select it right over here to start at this point. And this, is also, this also can be automated, so we can also right-click this and go to Edit Articulator and have it start at any point as we draw our own envelope for it. So, back into this tab, let's alt-click this back to default, so it starts at the very top again. Feel it. And then down here, we also have a little bit of formant changes, which is very cool. So if you have your voice in here or any type of vocal, we can change the formant. So make sure to turn this mix all the way up. Feel it. And let's change the formant a little bit. kind of chipmunky a little bit. And we can go the other way to change the format in the other direction. And keep in mind, I'm pressing C right here, as you can see, which is gonna be the original pitch. But we can also change a different note that we play to change the pitch of this uh, resynthesis. So we can go way up there. And something very cool to keep in mind with this synthesis engine is now that you have this information inside Harmer, now you can start affecting this sound with all the parameters and all the information we've learned from the previous 19 videos. So now that you should know how all this stuff works, now you can apply in a creative way all the stuff you've learned into this resynthesis. So now we let's say we dive into our effects here, right? Put some delay on here. Feel Some reverb. Feel it, feel it. Instead of getting this F in there, let's change this time knob just a little bit back here. Maybe add some distortion, maybe some classic distortion. Maybe some chorus. So basically, what's happening here is that with audio, it brings it into Harmer. We can do a lot of cool stuff with it. We can automate this t the time, the speed, or I mean like the time knob where it actually starts, the speed of it, the formants, all the stuff you can change 
during your song through different BPMs and all this stuff. It's very, very cool to play around with. What we're also going to talk about in future videos is the image side of this. So you can actually bring in a picture and you can play it inside Harmer and it'll reproduce what that, what that image sounds like. And it goes from pixel darkness. So a very, very, so completely black pixel won't produce any audio, but anything brighter than that will produce that. And the last thing that's going to be kind of cool that I'm going to show you in that video is you can get a logo of your, your band name or your artist name, put that into Harmer, pitch that up very, very high up. So it's very hard to hear. And then basically you're going to watermark your song. So you can have someone listen to your song. They won't necessarily hear it with their ears, but if they bring it into a spectrum view like this here, they'll be able to see your name, your logo right at the top here. So look forward to that in future videos. There's going to be quite a few videos on the image tab because it's such a large topic. So hopefully you get started with this and start diving into it because it is very cool feature of Harmer and it makes it very, very unique. So look forward to new videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.